Hello, people listening to this podcast. We are back with another mini sode, as Zoe called it. And this time, we're discussing some of our favorite and also least favorite food that we've had at theme parks. Um, yes. So we, not only are we going to discuss some of our favorite and non-favorite stuff, we asked you some questions on Twitter uh, and on Instagram. Um, so make sure for future reference that you are on Twitter following us at CBR Podcast and you follow at Coaster on Instagram so that you can also have your ideas and your thoughts read out as well. So let's just jump right into it. So mm-hmm. what, what's some of your favorite, what's your go-to theme park food? Well, this is a tricky question for me because, so I have to eat gluten-free, which is a massive issue at theme parks because no, they don't have any options really. But if we were saying, forget that, then there's a lot more things that I'd say I like. Um... Obviously, everybody knows that we love their jambalaya at Fantasia Land. We do. It's one of our favorite things in the world. Um, So that's probably up there. And also, it's quite nice because it's not like a burger or like fried chicken, which is what you normally get. It's like a proper nice meal type thing. Yeah. I was going to say about this quickly. Every year, the, the further in the season I usually go, the more and more I hate just g- generic fast food. Yeah. Literally, it, at the start, I don't mind thinking about a burger or, you know, some crap chicken or whatever. But really, at the end, I'm like, Christ, I don't want to eat that anymore. Yeah. Well, we, we end up just taking up at lunch because yeah. you just get sick of it, really. Because it's all like, um, obviously, it's really nice, but it just gets really samey. I just don't. It, it, by the end of the season, I have no, I have no appeal. You know, yeah, it runs what, out. It, it, just to have a generic burger, there's just no appeal for me. I just don't really care. Yeah. Um, but no, the jambalaya is good. And that's why having stuff that's a bit different is usually uh, something that we quite like, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I feel like Fantasia Land's good at that because they had stuff like, they had pizza and they had like Mexican food. Um, and then they had the Chinese area where they had obviously like Chinese like noodles. Yeah. Different stuff. So yeah. it wasn't all just burgers. But they still had the options like burgers and chicken nuggets. Yeah, the classics. Which, so did it's a good mixture of, yeah, both if you're Sean Sandbrook, uh, you can always get your <laughs> chicken nuggets, no problem. Exactly. Let's talk about, because we only just remembered this just now, at Gardaland. Yes. We had, saying about chicken, we had probably the best chicken ever at Gardaland. Yeah, so in, there's like a little wild west area that's right behind oblivion the black hole Mm -hmm. and there they had this quite big um it was more like an outdoor stall with kind of like a covered seating area it was Um, like barbecue food right yeah yeah barbecue food essentially and on the stall you could see what they were cooking so you could see them doing i think they were like chickens like full rotisserie chickens and and sausages as well, I'm pretty sure. It was there. like Nan- Nando's kind of situation, but they had other stuff apart from chicken. Yeah. So we shared, ended up sharing a meal because it, there was, it was just so big. It was expensive as well. I think uh, it was eight euros or something. Was it? I cannot remember. I don't um, know. But yeah, it was so big that we ended up sharing it and it was such a nice thing to oh, have. It was so good. Yeah. As I said, especially when you've had other stuff, I can't. I can't really remember. Uh, I had a, a hot dog before at Garda, which was a bit crap. Um, so what it was did very. I, have? I can't even remember what else because obviously it wasn't as yeah. good as the chicken. No, yeah. So this is it. Having having more proper meals. Yeah. Having proper meals that are still fast. Well, is still such like a on the go kind of meals. Yeah, That's all it, you needed to be. It's such a delight at theme parks, mm. you know. Um, but yeah, no, the Gardaland chicken was good. But then moving aside from food, Gardaland have um, slushies, mm. which was so perfect for the hot weather. Yeah, because you can refill it as well. Exactly. So you get a whole mixture of different flavors and it doesn't get boring because you just keep swapping between them. Uh, and then you don't die because it's so hot. So it's great. I love slushies and I love it when parks, you know, have a buy a, buy a cup for this yeah. amount and refill it for like a euro or a pound the or best. whatever. 
Very, very good. Because then you can cheat and get one and then just share it and keep refilling it. Yeah. Speaking about uh, food that's like themed to the area, like in Fantasialand, somebody called United Coasters Official said, theme parks should sell food that fits with the theme of the area it's located in. What do you think, Harry? Yeah, I think it's a good thing, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's necessary, or I wouldn't say that every store should be like that. Mm-hmm. I like it just in the way that where we got jambalaya from, they also serve chicken nuggets. I think yeah. there should be some themed food, but also a variety, right? All in one. Yeah. So you could have noodles in the China bit, but with other stuff as well. And then jambalaya in the Africa bit, but with other stuff as well. And I think that's the best way to go about it, because otherwise you just kind of... Some it gets people, a bit complicated if you start yeah. doing that. Because then you're like, oh, I want, I want some chicken. I've got to go all the way over to there to get chicken. Yeah. And it's a bit silly, you know? Especially when it's as basic as just your generic chicken nuggets or your generic burger. Mm-hmm. You don't really want to have to trek halfway across the park to go to the America-style part of the park with just yeah. burgers. So, But I, I do agree. It's a very cool concept to have. And it, it, is, it does work mm-hmm. just if you don't go over the top. Okay, what else? What else do you like? What have you? What's one of your favourite things we've had? Um, well, I saw some people talk about rollover hot dogs, which I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've had before. I have had, but I don't think at a theme park. Right. Okay. So I saw some people on Instagram were saying, "Oh, rollover hot dogs are crap." Uh, some people were saying they're pretty good. Um, Digital Dan asks, "What's your opinion on what?" what no. What's your opinions on the rollover hot dogs and donuts as well at the UK parks? Uh, so I, whenever I went to Drayton Manor as a kid, and Drayton Manor have the rollover hot dogs, mm-hmm. we would always get one. So for me, I really, really love them. But, but that's probably just nostalgia. Yeah, but they also, they're not bad at all. Like, no, like, it, what do you expect? It's a cheap hot dog? Yeah, but I, I don't know. I like it. I think they're good. I like um it's not like a normal hot dog in a way that yeah. you have more of like a it's it's better bread i think the bread is the issue like it's not fresh bread in a way it's not like puffy soft bread it's like that hard yeah but i like that weird bread. yeah no it's good for what it is yeah it just no, depends doesn't it they used to back in the day have it really crusty i can't remember how they did it but mm. now it's more soft but before it used to be really crusty um so they'd like they'd get a machine that pokes a hole through the bread that you put your hot dog in so it, like slides into a hole and it still does that i'm pretty sure Are it's you not joking? like a... i thought it was a slit no they had a hole inside the bread yeah like that a french is amazing. stick with a hole in it i did not know that, that that's why it's so good well for me anyway because that's it... so funny but where do you put the sauce just square in there <laughs> I can't remember how they did it. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm a fan of roll of hot dogs. Uh, to be honest, uh, some people aren't, but hot dogs are an iffy thing. Yeah, I don't know. You have to. Sometimes they're crap. Sometimes they're okay. Well, somebody called Skull Doggery if that's how you say it, said I remember eating this hot dog once in my home park, and the next day I got food poisoning from it. I yeah. remember it being super soggy and undercooked. Oh. I feel like yeah. that's a really easy way to get food poisoning. Yeah. Ew. That's pretty grim. I mean, if your food looks undercooked, I don't know, you shouldn't really eat it. So. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Just send it back and get, <laughs> get, another, get some more. I Probably think they're money. good, though, because you can just walk around with it in your hand really yeah. easily. Do you know what I mean? You can just grab one and then go. Yeah. Some, some theme park food is, is exactly that, and you want that. Yeah. Um, but then I appreciate parks that have more, and... Some people were saying that, um, or was it you that said, <laughs> or did I make this up? Who said it? What are you thinking of? No, it was someone who said it. Uh, up 87D says, I really like themed food pavilions, but most times I only find time to get fast food. Yeah. And I think that's like a conundrum. Exactly. Is, do you go to a proper restaurant or do you go to a fast food place? Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes it's nice to just go to a proper restaurant, but... If you're visiting a park for the first time, it's very hard to what to to have the desire to. I don't think you can do it in a new park. No. I think if we went to Alton Towers for a random day, 
This is it. I we could just, go to a proper restaurant. I was just about to say, Alton Towers has a, the Buzz Cutters restaurant, which is basically like pub food. Right. It's a bit more expensive. Like the burgers are probably two pounds more expensive or three pounds more expensive, but they're actual like pub level. So they're proper burgers rather than crap. Just... Yeah, but see, this is the issue. Why do they have to make it more expensive? You've already paid to get into the park. Nah, but Why can't the, they just make it at the normal price? But I didn't. The buzz cutters wasn't. I wouldn't say it's too inflated in terms of price. You'd go to a pub and you'd spend ten, twelve pounds on a burger anyway, right? Yeah. And it was the same at buzz cutters. So, mm. I, and it was good. Like it's actually good stuff. So I think there is some sort of payoff when you do go to some of the more upmarket ones because I feel like the upmarket ones maybe rip you off a bit less. I never ways. got that impression. I always thought that they were overpriced from looking at the menus, mm. which doesn't make any sense. But maybe I, I'm just trying to think. To be fair, I haven't really eaten in in many. The only one we go to is <laughs> the controversial pizza pasta restaurant. Yeah, but that's a whole different genre. Isn't it? Yeah, but that's closer. To, that's the closest we ever get to like a proper meal. Yeah, sit, but I wouldn't say that's a proper restaurant. meal. Pizza and pasta is a, a buffet. No, but thing. like a proper re- where you sit down in a, yeah. in a restaurant instead of just walking around. But then with pizza and pasta, you're also paying for it to be, you know, infinite, infinite exactly. drinks and infinite amounts of pizza. And, and I think pasta. that's why I will, I would rather pay for the pizza and pasta place rather than just get a burger yeah. from a restaurant because you know how much I can eat so can I can make up. it worth it. And then, especially with things like if you're at a theme park for a while, so if you're going to say, Open Tower Scarefest, where they're open ten till nine, yeah. you can hit pizza pasta midday, and you could be fine for the, for the rest of the. Well, evening. you could be. Well, I, I've done that before, but so, I would get hungry again. Or you just shift it back, you know, eat a pizza and pasta at like three. And yeah, then... but I couldn't make it to three. Wow. Yeah, but bottom of bottom line is bring a snack. Um, <laughs> but but I yeah, like... I think I think it's worth it when you go to pizza and pasta. Yeah, pizza pasta at the, the Marlin Parks isn't terrible. I've I've heard horror stories of people, you know, pizza at various parks. Um, I think someone said that Disney's pizza was pretty dire. Mm. Um, but no, the pizza and pasta food is, isn't terrible. It's not like incredible, but it, it, it's good. It's good. So um, it does the job. Speaking of pizza, when I went to um, Wallaby Holland, we went to, there's like a, a restaurant near Boomerang, Boomerang, near Speed of Sound. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like a proper, well, it was, it was a restaurant that, that you go up and order food and they make it in front of you and then you buy it kind of thing. One right. of those. Kind of like you find at like a service station or whatever, right? And we, um, shout out to Scott here because he gave, he gave me and the American guys a free choice to Mm -hmm. eat right anything we wanted for free which is pretty epic um so they had pizza that they made there and then so fresh bases he put the ingredients on for you he put it in the oven for you uh and then it was done and that pizza was pretty good there was a lot of it as well for what you got but i don't think it was too expensive i didn't pay obviously but um it was very good so wallaby holland if you want something a bit more fresh make your own pizza essentially um, Jamie said something. Oh no, it wasn't Jamie. Oh yeah, here Joel said. Um, he had a Mac Mac bowl from Mac bowl at King's Dominion, where you get to build your own mac and cheese dish. <laughs> that sounds good. How good would that be? That sounds very good. Why don't we have that in the UK? Yeah, I don't know. Because don't somebody think... else said that they'd love to see more mac and cheese stuff here. We, and like in London nowadays, it's all trendy to have mac and cheese, but they're not. Yeah, but I don't think it's parks. no, but I don't think it's a very British thing. Yeah, but it, it is becoming really trendy. Yeah, well, and it's vegetarian. I, parks are delayed, aren't they? In their uptake of things. Yeah. So we need mac and cheese. That does sound very good, though. I'd like a mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is very is a solid choice, and it, it gets you full, full quite quickly. Yeah, as well. and I like the idea of like you can choose what you put on it. I think they should do that more often, like. Just have some yeah. basic pasta dishes that are always there, like cooked already, and then just be it, like everyone can choose what they want on the top of it. Yeah, Joel That'd also be said. So good. Shout out to uh, pizza and pasta at Towers. So, mm-hmm. just more pizza pasta. 
Hazup says, I hate the Merlin pizza pasta buffet. Flo says, love the pizza pasta buffet. Exactly. So controversial opinions on the pizza pasta. I think more people like it than they don't, but there's still some... It is borderline. Well, no, it's, it's above borderline, but not everyone's into that kind of thing. Depends if you want a buffet or not. I think that's the main... This is very true. The main point there. Very true. Um, hen, sh- hen underscore sh underscore o three <laughs> says... The best was by far the food from the Western Saloon at Hansa Park. The chicken burger is awesome. Fortunately, when I went, we went, uh, we met up with a few people at the park and they suggested to go to the Western Saloon. Mm -hmm. And it's a proper restaurant, right? With decently priced burgers. And yeah, damn, the food is, is proper quality. Did you have the chicken burger though? I had a beef burger Mm -hmm. and it was very, very good. And yeah, as I said, it wasn't too expensive. I didn't feel like it was a ripoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was more like proper. It's more like a proper restaurant that wasn't in the theme park kind of thing. Right. So if you do go to Hansa Park, check out the Western Saloon. Uh, it, things are a bit slower, obviously, because it's a proper restaurant. Um, but we went on a dead day, fortunately. So it was kind of nice to just take it easy. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, check out the Western Saloon, definitely. Somebody called Harrison said at Thought Park, I believe it's called Sticky Sisters, it's gone which now. does the pengist lattice fries and chicken burgers. Pengist. Very nice, Harrison. Well yeah. Done. Wait, it's gone now? Yeah. Where was that then? Because I don't remember that at all. In between, you know, on the left side of the park, if you want to walk from, say, Sword the Right up to Nemesis Inferno, uh-huh. there's like a little covered bit with like a tent. Oh. Uh... Like, it's kind Not of like mean. a real restaurant type situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's that's where it was. Ah. Oh. There's something else there now. I don't know exactly, but. Oh, didn't they change it to like a barbecue type thing? Yeah, I think it. It's always been a barbecue esque. They've just slightly changed the branding. In that. It's not. I think Sticky Sisters is an external company. Right. I think it might be a different external company. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's talk about sweet stuff. So we don't really have a lot of sweet stuff apart from like donuts is the main thing that we normally get, isn't it? Before I'm, the gluten free. Ah, <laughs> uh, people people love the donuts, but I find them incredibly sickly, and I actually yeah, that's don't like, the point, Harry. I don't like them that much yeah, at but all. You don't like sweet stuff, so that's just beside the point. It's just too much. It, it's too uh, sugary. No, it's too deep fried. Yeah, that's why I like them though. Oh, they oh, make, it actually so makes good. me feel a little bit sick thinking about it. You've probably eaten too many, that's why. Oh, man, uh, I'd much rather have like a, a crispy cream donut. You know? Nah, you've got so to have more the outside the, really crispy no, 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 though. No, no. More of the soft and just glazed, that's what, rather than deep fried and coated in a metric crap ton of sugar. Yeah, that's that's what I like. But yeah, no, the, the, the donuts are a staple thing in literally every UK park, it seems. Yeah. And they aren't bad. I just, I'm just not a huge fan. Everybody's talking about cinnamon bread at yeah. Dollywood. Even Mr. Taylor Bybee says it's good. Yeah, Caleb says ev- almost everything at Dollywood is great. Peter also wouldn't know, guys, but I bet oh. it is. Yeah. As soon as we get over there, I'm gonna have to eat everything, even if it's got gluten in it. <laughs> yeah, you I don't care. I'm gonna have the cinnamon bread. It does look good. I've seen some photos of it before. Hmm. Um, Taylor also says that his favorite park restaurant is Food Loop slash Coaster Restaurant. Yeah, not sure which one he prefers out of the Europa Park or Towers one. This is so true. I was actually going to say this earlier. Instead, like if we were at Alton Towers and we was and we were going to go for a proper meal, I'd rather go to the Food Loop restaurant. Mm. Yeah, the the Food Loop or Roller Coaster Restaurant there it it is expensive. But if you have a Merlin pass, it becomes much more reasonable because you get twenty percent discount. Yeah. And then what me and Zoe usually do is we found, <laughs> well, chicken like a, a a half a chicken is usually a good value meal anywhere you go. Yeah. So we usually get that, get some extra chips and share it. Because also it wor- you like the brown meat and I like the white meat. So. Yeah, yeah. And then it works out literally the same price you'd pay to have a a burger. Yeah. Like a fast Whatever. food burger. So we only pay, yeah, seven quid, um, which is, I'd rather pay seven quid for that than... Yeah, and it's more fun. Summer. And it is more fun, yeah. The whole ethos is very nice. Atmosphere yeah. in that. Um, the one at Europa Park is very much the same. It's 
you know, more upmarket, more fancy. Everything's a bit more expensive. I remember having a kid's meal because I couldn't be asked to fork out. <laughs> um, but this is the fun thing. You can just order kid's meals, you know? Exactly. No one so, knows. No. I think you've done it before, haven't you? I had the mac and cheese, I think. Yeah. Which so, was a kid's meal, which is a joke. Where's the adult version? <laughs> so, yeah, they are very, very cool. Um, I got to agree. Um, People are also talking about ice creams. Yeah. Of a fashion. So Vinny says Dole Whip is the most overrated thing on the planet. Citrus Swirl is miles better. Oscar uh, disagrees with him directly and says, <laughs> um, I absolutely love the Dole Whip I had at uh, Disneyland something. Resort? Yes, that one. <laughs> DLR. I've never seen DLR before. Yeah, right, okay. Though I've never had a Citrus Swirl. So we were Googling what these were because we've mm-hmm. never seen it before. And I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's just vanilla ice cream that's come out of a machine. You know, like the soft serve ice cream. Like a 99 whip that we have. You have to let us know if this is true, because in the UK, we have something called a 99, which is literally, it seems to be... It's just plain ice cream. Yeah, it just seems to be Dole Whip in a cone. (laughs) right? And then the the citrus swirl one is just orange flavor. Mm -hmm. But I, I actually would have to agree more with Oscar. I think... I mean, Dole Whip in, in just a pot is very sad. Um, but getting a 99 in a cone, in a, a, a wafer cone, is very good. Stick a 99 on it, put some syrup on it, you know, put some, some sauce on it. Absolute classic. It is an absolute classic. I love having a 99 with a flake at the theme park. And there's always an ice cream van there. So. Yeah, exactly. It's such a quintessential British thing. Exactly. To ha- on a sun- sunny day, you're at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, you're near the ocean... Blue skies, you just got to have a 99. It's Mm -hmm. just, it'd just be rude not to. So, (laughs) (laughs) there's something about ice ice cream, isn't it? It's quite refreshing. So, yeah. It's a nice change of pace. But talking about something that looks absolutely horrendously big, um, a few people mentioned this, I think, was uh, Peter says he really wants to try those Hershey shakes. Oh, is this what Jamie sent us a picture of? Yes, uh, Jamie also says he wants to try the Hershey Parks Diabetes Milkshake, (laughs) which I don't know if you could could try and sum it up, Zoe. Did you see the size of it? I did. It was an absolute unit. Well, there was three sizes. I don't know who would ever get the big one, but essentially, wasn't it like a milkshake? And then on the top of it is just like loads of like biscuit or whatever flavor it is. And then like sauce. It's like those... um, those shakes that they started to ban here. Do you remember? Because the, they're so full of sugar. Really? Yeah, because it's like a milkshake, which is like 50% sugar. And then on the top, there'd be like biscuits and like yeah. um, sauces that had loads of sugar in. And they literally said it's like half of your daily calories. <laughs> so they banned them. That's so bad. Um, but yeah, it looks like a, a more square milk, like plastic milk jug that's full of milkshake with chocolate biscuit whipped cream and all that kind of crap on top yeah but it looks huge insane really huge holy moly i think i might die if i had that <laughs> well if you can't chocolate. even hack a donut mate what are you gonna this is very true what are you gonna do how, how sad i would like to try that though i think it'd be a a good challenge mm. i think generally it's just really overpriced and unless you hit something good like the jambalaya it's a bit crap for what it is but, you know, what are you going to do? Where else are you going to buy food? That's You're it. in a theme park, so. I do think every park has, like, a, a good offering. You just got to find it. Yeah. If you know what I mean? There'll be some sort of best option, you know, something that isn't as overpriced and isn't as crap. Yeah. Um, and you've just got just to look for it. But I guess that's what you get for trying different places. Exactly. Mm. So that's been it for this mini-sode. And... Yeah, if you liked it, let us know. All the usual stuff. Follow us on Facebook, not Facebook. <laughs> follow wow. us on Twitter. Uh, follow Coastalbot on Instagram for the questions that we ask you. Um, you can find us on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, all the rest of it. And next week, we'll be talking about our trip to Alton Towers on opening day. So get excited for that. Mm, very exciting. And also... Let us know if you have any ideas for mini sods you'd like to see in the future. You know, because just a, a simple short idea might be enough to fill uh, a mini sod, as it were. 
Exactly. So we'd love to hear what you think about it. Yep. Let us know.